It was the start of Liverpool's most successful period to date, but Shankly was desperate for more silverware. In 73 years, Liverpool had never won the FA Cup. In 1965, they faced Leeds United in the final. I remember the build-up, obviously, you know, the, the clamour for tickets. The Beatles were, were coming um, through and uh, the football team was on the up. And so it was just a fantastic place to be, Liverpool, it was. In the dressing room before the game, Shankly was as bullish as ever. There's no way that Leeds could beat us. This was his talk, you know, uh, for three days. You know, no way they can beat us. You know, they haven't got the side. We have got the side, you know, and we'll win this. You know, and he was always confident. Roger Hunt opened the scoring for Liverpool three minutes into extra time. The lead lasted only ten minutes before a mistake from Yates led to Billy Bremner's equaliser. But another of Shankly's key signings would head the winner. Ian St John scoring with less than ten minutes remaining. Liverpool won 2 1. It was the first time the Queen had gone to Wembley to give out uh, any cup. So, you know, uh, to be first uh, to pick out from the Queen was a big moment for me. It was a, probably a bigger moment for Liverpool Football Club. There were 50,000 Liverpudlians at Wembley that day, but no one was prouder than the Scot, Bill Shankly. He was beside himself, he was just... Because, you see, he'd done what no Liverpool manager had ever done. I couldn't believe the crowds in Liverpool when we come back with it, you know, after the, after the game. It was just... I, I didn't think Liverpool had that many uh, people in it. You know, they were, they were out of windows, out of doors, a lot. When you think he'd only come little more than five years earlier, um, and there they were. They'd not only won the league championship, now they'd won the FA Cup as well. He'd taken them into Europe. It was just amazing. The scenes of jubilation were astonishing, but the season was far from over. The European Cup had never been won by a British team. Shankly was convinced Liverpool could be the first. The two-legged semi-final brought Inter Milan to Anfield. 